Fellow Plexers. Another video, this one's for Lee. I think he straightened out his problem, but I was reading through the thread at the Plex Media Server Support Group, and there's a lot of misinformation in it. And I wanted to talk about how to name and organize your media while showing Lee how to get Echo in. Um, I just spun up a new test server, so this show's never been added to it, and we'll get to that in a second. But there's some misinformation about the source ID. For movies, Plex scrapes both TVDB, I'm sorry, both IMDB and the movie database and combines all that metadata into their own scanner and agent. They do the same thing with TVDB and TMDB with their TV show scanner. IMDB is not used at all. And if you got to see that for yourself, we'll get down to the section. All right, I missed it, sorry. We'll find the section that talks about source ID. Okay, so right here, it shows how you can use a TMDB or the TVDB show ID. And it's always in this format. It's got to be inside curly Q brackets and you always use the TVDB dash ID number or the TMDB dash ID number. I'm having trouble finding it, but there is a little code someplace that shows how that works. And maybe that code is in the movie naming one. But it has to be inside curly Q brackets and it has to first define the database and then define the database number. No spaces, it's always TMDB dash the number or TVDB dash the number. So I just wanted to get that out of the way and Plex, Plex only gives good naming examples. There's no periods or underscores to replace a natural space. This is the most used example of a separator, the space dash space. The different um, movie naming guides like the addition or the versioning guide will show you that Plex uses a, a plain period sometimes to replace this space dash space. But that's only a separator. Don't use a space dash space in the source ID formula. All right, so let's get on to the, the naming guide. And this is that show. I haven't added it yet. It's in its most basic format. Let's back up. I have it outside of media libraries. So Plex recommends to add the year. If you go to TVDB or TMDB, which we'll do next. Let's get them both open. If I search for Echo, when you click into it, the year is part of the proper name. Now it's not part of the proper name at TVDB unless there's already a show named that and they might add it in. So over here it's just plain Echo and Plex recommends adding the year. For a lot of series, you don't have to, but you, you really should. And if we go back, a lot of movies named Echo. There's an Echoes TV series and an Echo 3. I thought there was a Japanese series. Did I miss it? Maybe I'm not thinking straight. I thought there was another series. Let's let's look over here. Well, this is in Japanese. Maybe it's, I don't know. Oh, that's from NBC. But there's no year with this, so that's kind of weird. And that might screw up the matching. So anyway, I just want to show that you can pull from either database and that Plex recommends adding a year if you're 
pulling your information from TVDB. So this library is set to scan automatically as soon as media is dropped into it. So again, very simple. Echo, 2024 in parentheses, Season 01. Plex never gives an example of Season 1 or Season Space 1. It's always Season Space 01. And the same name you're using for the show title with the official separator to get to the season episode coding and then a space dash space before you add the episode name and Plex does not use the episode name for scanning. That's purely for your benefit. All right, let's put it into this library and see if Plex discovers it. Well, I thought I had automatic scanning turned on, so let's scan it manually. And we see it found it as the wrong movie. I'm sorry, the wrong series. And I have, I have this library set up. to pull episode ordering from, where is it? From the movie database. Normally I change this to the TVDB. So let's fix this. Let's, let's just see if a rename fixes it. Well, actually, I can't get the, um, can't get the ID from a Chrome app. I have to go there manually. All right, so I just need this. Let's go in and try it this way, just with the folder and not the episodes. And let's scan the library again. Let's refresh metadata. So that fix didn't do anything. So let's get rid of it. Bring it outside the library. And then let's do the Plex dash dance, which is scan in the library, go to manage, empty the trash, go to your settings, and if you have multiple servers, you want to be on the server right here and not an alternate server. Troubleshooting, clean bundles, now let's drop this back in. Scan again, and this time Plex discovered it correctly. For whatever reason, this one show needs the source ID in the show folder. You can also put it into the um, episode proper names too if you want. So I want to do one more thing. I want to keep screwing around. Let's move it out again. And let's rescan the library. Let's empty the trash. 
And let's make an advanced setting change. Oh, sorry. Edit. And let's pull episode ordering from TVDB like I do by default. And let me rename this, or let me open it in FileBot. Let me use my default expression on it. Because that default expression does not add the TVDB source ID. Okay, so this adds in my extra info. Let's see if the one library setting change we did helps this. So I do need to clean the bundles yet to finish that second Plex dance. scan again. I think it won't find it. I think it'll pull it up as the wrong series, which it did. But we're covering all bases with this show. All right, Plex Dance one more time, scan library. Empty trash. Troubleshooting. Clean bundles. And this time let's add in the TVDB database number. The source ID, let's say. Alright, so where are we? Here's the series ID. Same process, just different database. And remember, the IMDB has nothing to do with a Plex TV series. Add that one last time. Scan again. Yes, for whatever reason, you need the source ID from either um, database, TMDB, or TVDB, and the IMDB is useless, and the source ID always has to be in the correct format. So if we edit the episode, it always has to be the TVDB dash database number contained in the curly Q brackets. And it only has to be in the show folder name. It does not have to be in the episode folder name, but it won't hurt if you do. So I just wanted to correct some misinformation that um, the Plex dash, I'm sorry, I keep saying the Plex dash. It, the Plex Dance must be used sometimes to rescan a movie that's scanned in it incorrectly. And that the only two possible source IDs are TMDB or TVDB. And for this particular show, it needs to be added. Now, I added this show when it first came out, and this is what I had to do. And there's been no change since that point. So when did this first episode come out? January 9th, so we're, we're over a month and a half and still it scans in the same way as it did from day one. So you might, you might want to upgrade your media if you're using FileBot to add that. I haven't done that yet. I do add the TMDB source ID to all of my movie media 
I just haven't got it, gotten around to upgrading my TV show um, expression to add the TVDB source ID. I can show one last thing. FileBot, though, is great. If I open this show up with FileBot, so these are my default expressions that I use. FileBot has its own, but if you add your own expressions, you don't see it. Unless you hold down the shift key and then click here. And then you'll see organize movies for Plex, organize episodes for Plex, which are the two you'll want to use, match by episode title or match by absolute number. So if I choose organize episodes for Plex, you'll see that the TMDB source ID is added automatically. Well, I can't use this on my NAS because FileBot's default expressions for movies and episodes expects to move the new structure to a media folder and then to a TV show subfolder or to a movie subfolder if you're renaming movies. Um, so I can do this on my computer or if I had set my NAS up with this structure for my Plex server, I could use it here on my NAS. But you'll see how you get the, the TMDB source ID in the folder name, but not in the episode name. So you can use this on your local media to then move to network storage without having to learn anything about my custom expressions. But again, it all goes from, or it all comes from TMDB and I use TVDB for all my episode ordering. So this is kind of a disjointed video, but it might be helpful to a few people. And I think, I think Lee has it already matched properly, but I'll throw this up anyway. Thanks for watching.